Hello, welcome to uh, another video. Um, as you can see, I have two very, very nice grails in front of me. So as you can see, we have the eye basilisk and the tsunami. This one being made by Jerry Hom and this one being produced by Squid Industries. Okay, so this video, I'm just gonna go over aspects and uh, my preferences. Um, so both of these flip very nice. I want to get that out of the way. Uh, Production-wise and quality-wise, both are fairly the same. Um, but I do want to go into those aspects because there are a few differences that I do want to mention. So let's go over. Um, let's go over the eye basilisk first because there's because um, <laughs> this is brand new. It just came in the mail today, um, but. As you can see, this knife is one of my prettiest knives that I've ever owned. Um, I love Jerry Hom's knives and I owned a Ivory Basilisk. I never made a video on it, but I wish I did. Uh, did not flip as well as this, but just, um, there's, I think only two videos on, on this knife. So I did want to make a partial video on it. Um, so going over it, it is very high grade titanium, just like the Tsunami. Um, you can see that there is the use of tang pins and um, stainless steel hardware. As you can see, there's a two-tone acid wash blade, which is really nice. It has a slight uh, stone wash to it. Um, now, one of the main reasons why I was very interested in this knife was because I've never owned like a full channel knife. And I thought that this knife would just stand out in any collection. So as you can see, it is fully milled titanium. This is not a sandwich. It is just full channel. Um, you can see the bottom of the handles. <laughs> I apologize for the dirty fingers. I had art class earlier. Um, but yes, this knife is very very pretty and i think um i don't know if it's still on blade hq but that's where i bought this and uh, if it's still in stock i really recommend getting this before it sells out um now this compared to the tsunami this is production line already this is still technically in the prototyping stage and it's not really released to the public the only way you can get this is on second hand uh market or if you ever want to blade or yeah, blade show. Um, okay, so going over this one, let's talk about the pros. So of course, it is very pretty, very well machined. Uh, the jimping is very nice. And um, this hasn't slipped out of my fingers yet. Um, it is very comfortable, even though that there isn't any like, um, you know, handle texturing, like the Tsunami, um, if you can see that. You can see that there are milled out holes that do have Quite a bit of grip, um, but it's not uncomfortable, even though it is kind of grippy. So, other than that, the blade profile is super nice, uh, and the finish quality on this is also amazing. Um, the sound on this, it is hard to really hear because it is more quiet uh, compared to the, the Nami over here, which... Is quite loud. It actually reminds me of the Seraph sound. Um, I'd never posted a video on that either, I don't think. Um, maybe I did. I think I posted a short about it, but you can hear how loud the Seraph is. This isn't quite as loud as the Seraph due to, you know, the holes. So acoustics on this, um, it will kind of, this, the sound will escape through these milled out holes. Um, so back to the eye basilisk. Going to the inside milling, of course, it is hard to get, you know, any type of perfect pattern due to it being a solid chunk of titanium. Um, one thing that I did notice, or maybe it has been on the um, basilisk lines, but as you can see, the horns, they do kind of curve inward, and I really, really do like that. Um, as you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Tang pins. I rather prefer Zen pins, but either way, the quality is really nice. I've owned, um, well, this would be my third Jerry Hom 
knife. Uh, of course, the other ones were G10 and carbon fiber, but this is full titanium and I just really am in love with this. Um, so I'm actually going to go to Squid Industries tomorrow um, and I have to drop this off because there um, is an, a quality issue with this, but it's technically not defective. Okay, <laughs> so let's see. Blade is razor sharp. I love the finish, everything. It's just really beautiful. I would check it out. Uh, flipping wise, it is just great. It does a lot of tricks for you. And when I say that, I mean like a lot of the tricks that you do just carries out flawlessly. And I'm not, you know, any good with butterfly knives or anything like that. Um, more of a collector than a flipper, but I try. Um, I do love my fans. Um, I do apologize for the repetition. But um, let's go over the cons. So as it being a production knife, you expect no imperfections. And technically, that's what you get. You don't have any imperfections on the knife. You can see it just, it stands out and it's basically perfect. Um, now, the only thing that might deter you is the insides of the channels. Um, you can't really see it, but the machining is... I mean, it's it's pretty up to par. Um, I don't really have any complaints about it, but if you want something like that's really nice, such as, you know, an orange peel finish or a satin finish, or maybe even like the Tsunami, which has a jeweled finish, you're not going to get that on this due to it being a solid chunk of titanium that was milled out. So that's not really of a, uh, a con per se, but um, it might deter people that really do want like a absolute perfect knife um now another con that i do want to bring up and it's more of an issue uh to me and possibly a lot of the flippers is that the spine is neither chamfered or crowned which means that after a while of flipping it will get uncomfortable um and you know i'm not saying that i'm not going to flip it due to that like of course i'm going to flip it um you know, it's not going to stop me from flipping or anything like that. But it's just, I really wish it was crowned or chamfered. It is just a solid, like, block uh, rubbing against my finger. Okay, well, um, the Basilisk, it's just one weight. It is a little... Let's see, the balance point is mm, like this pretty neutral if i do say so myself maybe a little bit blade bias just because of you can see how much blade versus uh handle ratio there is when it comes to the balance point so yes it is a little blade bias but it flips really good nonetheless so let's take a look at the tsunami uh, i think i pronounced that right yeah tsunami um so a really really pretty knife too um it has been on my grail list for quite some time same with that one but this one is just really nice as you can see there's titanium hardware and the machining on this is pretty much perfect it is a chandwich design versus a um channel design so as you can see there is a gap which you can't see through or anything but um there is a gap so this runs on Zen pins instead of Tang pins. As you can see, this is number 75, production three. <clears throat> and this one does have a chamfered spine, chamfered slash crown. It is really smooth and it just feels really, oh shit, well, dropped it. Uh, it does feel really nice when doing chaplains. Um, as you can see, um, this blade is unique as well as it's not going to pick up but there are milling lines all over it and it just looks really fantastic it reminds me of the serif and the reaper which uh, i have yet to post a video about the reaper because i currently do not own it it's uh in the possession of the maker because uh there was also a quality issue on that no quality issue on that as far as i know but the one downside that I've seen on this, and that's only because this is just a little defective. If you take a look at the handles, you can see that this handle is just a tad bit smaller slash shorter than the rest of the handle. So I'm bringing it into Squid, uh, and that's gonna be fixed uh, hopefully pretty quick because I do love this knife a lot. Um, 
now I'm not doing any like tricks or anything other than just simple shit but it's more of like the conversation that i just want to talk about um between these two knives so um yeah the jeweling in this is really pretty um i do want to switch the hardware to stainless steel however it just looks really pretty with the magenta hardware if i do say so myself so yes this knife carries out all the tricks really well same with the the eye basilisk sounds really great too um but yeah um this is lighter oh yeah that's what i wanted to to cover so talking about weight as i said this weight is one solid weight however this one if you do take out uh if you disassemble the handles there is a three pin weight system in this that you can actually manipulate and uh you can make the knife either heavier or lighter and uh, another thing that contributes to that is the hardware itself and so the titanium hardware plus the titanium handles plus the the blade makes for a really light knife uh, this is grade 5 titanium i believe um same with that one but um when i switch the stainless steel hardware I think I will be more happy with um, the weight as the trainer version that I've um, got a chance to borrow felt really nice and uh, I was able to do like Z chokers and everything way better than, than this. Um, so yeah, I don't even know if the pins are in, in here because it, it feels really light, um, but it's a great knife nonetheless. So um, yeah, so comparing these two, the Nami is... A slight bit longer um but otherwise these two just look really pretty next to each other and i'm glad that i own these um i don't think i'll be selling these or trading these um if i do i will really regret it but anyway that was pretty much the whole video um i will be posting shorts on me flipping these hopefully when my finger is fully healed it's uh still kind of fucked but yeah thanks for watching